In three, two, one. Seven things you probably didn't know, you need to know. I'm Jamie Easton. This, this is the Smart Seven. It's Monday the 13th of April and a big happy birthday to Butch Cassidy, Gary Kasparov and Lou Baker. This is Mumble number five. Now it's the Smart Seven, pal. And over the next seven minutes or so, we're going to get you up to speed on everything you need to know for the day, including the latest on COVID-19. The death toll continues to rise for coronavirus as the number of cases approaches 2 million worldwide. People do recover, though, and Britain's Boris Johnson has done just that. He reappeared yesterday, suited and booted, with some words of thanks for those at the NHS who pulled him through. It is thanks to that courage, that devotion, that duty and that love that our NHS has been unbeatable. I want to pay my own thanks to the utterly brilliant doctors, leaders in their fields, uh, men and women, but several of them for some reason called Nick, who took some crucial decisions a few days ago, for which I will be grateful for the rest of my life. It's good to see him back on his feet, obviously, and frankly, some of his deputies haven't exactly been nailing it. I'm looking at you, Pretty Patel. Let's get a quick update on the number of tests, shall we? Through the government's ongoing monitoring and testing programme, that as of 9am today, there have been 300,034, 974,000 tests carried out across the UK, excluding Northern Ireland. So, what was that number? 300,034... 974,000 tests. Six. And as that death toll rises, we've started to lose some well-known names to it. Yesterday saw the passing of legendary British comedian and Derby County fan Tim Brooke Taylor, a founder member of The Goodies, who were huge stars on TV in the 70s and contemporaries of Monty Python. He will be sadly missed. One of his most famous sketches features him, John Cleese, Marty Feldman and Graham Chapman as the four Yorkshire. We had it tough. I used to have to get out at a shoebox at midnight, lick road clean, eat a couple of bits of cold gravel, work 23 hours a day at mill for a penny every four years, and when we, and when we got home, Dad used to slice us in half with a bread knife. Even as the UK and the US struggle with the rising case numbers, there are some signs of hope as both Spain and Italy seem to be moving past the peak. Across Europe, Austria, Denmark, Norway and the Czech Republic are all beginning to talk about easing restrictions and reopening shops and maybe even schools. But as US expert Dr Anthony Fauci said yesterday, it's not that simple. It is not going to be a light switch that we say, OK, it is now... June, July or whatever, click, the, the, the light switch goes back on. It's going to be depending where you are in the country, the nature of the outbreak that you've already experienced and the threat of an outbreak that you may not have experienced. Time to check in on the sport. Yeah, there's uh, still no sport, though. Uh, As Liverpool fans wait in agony for a decision on what happens next with the Premier League, will it be cancelled? Do they still win it? Does it count? There's so many questions. But what do football fans and managers do when they wait in isolation? Yep, just like everyone else, they're on Zoom. For some reason, Liverpool released the video from their recent call, and it's just as awkward and odd as every other Zoom call you've ever been on. Have a listen to this. This is Jurgen Klopp trying to talk to most of the first team from their mansions. (laughs) Can you hear us? Yeah. We wanted to sing this morning for Harvey, but Harvey is not here. Yeah, Harvey is here. Mo is here now. Hello, Mo. Morning, Mo. No, you are behind. A, cannot see you properly. <laughs> I was sleeping. Really? <laughs> hey, can anyone actually cross their legs, by the way? <laughs> is it just me? Then? This is already the difficult position for me. The Tiger King is back. Well, kind of. Joe Exotic's still in prison. But a new bonus episode of The Tiger King show dropped last night on Netflix. It was a catch-up on most of the famous stars without Joe or his arch-nemesis, Carol Baskin. Hosted by Joe McHale, it was mostly filmed on iPhones. Well, needs must, and we need more of The Tiger King. On April 12th, Netflix will release an eighth installment called The Tiger King and I. It's an after show hosted by me. I talked to a lot of people involved in the project. 
Jeff and Lauren Lowe, Saf, Eric Cowie, John Finley, John Renke, and Rick Kirkham to see what's happened in their lives since the release of the series. In these odd times, it's obviously a bit of a challenge for Saturday Night Live. Instead of the usual sketches and live studio audience, they put together a show entirely on yep, Zoom. And it was hosted by America's favourite coronavirus survivor, Tom Hanks. Isn't it weird to hear TV without the applause and other people in the room? Here's Tom Hanks on Saturday Night Live from his own living room. And live from Zoom, it's sometime between March and August. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's do this. Hey, hey. Oh, whoa, thank you. Thank you. That is a that is some sound effect of applause and whistles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, engineers. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's me, your old pal. And don't don't worry now, don't be afraid. This shaved head was just for a movie and my hair is growing back very slowly. It does save time in a shower, so I don't know, maybe we should all do it, huh? Hey, it's good to be here, though it is also very weird to be here hosting Saturday Night Live from home. What? Many musicians have tried to step up in these troubled times and bring some musical comfort, and many have failed. I'm looking at you, Bono and Will I Am. Remember last week's Song for Life? Maybe I said the wrong thing. Times of great crisis require great art and great artists. And that's why the Venga boys have stepped up to bring us the teleconferencing anthem that is Zoom, 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 Zoom. Oh. Zoom, 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 I wanna go Zoom, Zoom. This has been The Smart 7. Stay safe, stay distant, and wash those blooming hands. We're back tomorrow at 7am. Like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Tilly Steele. And I'm Helen Monk. And this is Bitchin'. I'm dyslexic. Yeah, why do you read the word in the face? It's good to practice. A podcast where every week we talk about a different person. So how old was he when he first popped on the scene? That's a great question. If you say he was my age, I'm going (laughs) to fucking die. And we veer wildly off track. Pop that Prosec. (laughs) Available on all your podcast apps. (laughs) That's not my... Uh, Can you not say er in the advert? (laughs) Available on all your podcast platforms. Just search Bitchin' or Great Big Owl. We'll see you there. That was alright. <laughs>